Oh my god. Woo. Holy crap. Okay. All right, boys. Who wants some new shoes? Yes, I yeah. do. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Happy Friday. It is the weekend and I am so excited. I don't know why I'm excited actually. No, I take it back. I'm not excited. It's not like I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow or anything. Next weekend, I will be sleeping in. Tomorrow, tomorrow's a big day. I am actually doing another race. I was kind of on a high from running my last race. I can have Brandon link the video for you guys. Kind of on a high from that. It was really cool. It made me feel really good. And I was like, you know what? I wanna do another one of these. And I kind of wanted to push myself. I was still race ready. So I had about seven weeks of maintaining where I've been. I could bust out another race. Honestly, I would be so excited for tomorrow if the temperatures weren't gonna be 30 degrees. It's going to be 30 degrees in the morning when we start running, possibly even colder. That makes me a little nervous, makes me a little less excited. It's a little trickier with what to wear, what to layer. You can have a drop bag at top of the race course, and they'll get it for you and get it to you at the bottom. Anything you keep and you decide you wanna shed later on on the trail, if you just throw it to the side, they donate it. So you would just have to be happy saying goodbye to whatever sweater you are wearing. Trying to figure out how exactly we wanna dress and get ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna head out and go get my race packet, get everything all ready for that. I'm excited. I've never done this race before. It's called the Haunted Half. It's in Provo, Utah. Actually, by the time you guys see this video, I will be done. That is a weird thing. Race starts at eight in the morning, so it's not as early as the last one that started at six. I have to be up early, but not that early. Feeling good. Sun is shining, and it looks like it feels great outside. I was talking to a friend, and she's like, I've been out all morning. It is frigid cold. I guess it's time. Sweater, pants, go in full winter mode now. We had like some nice like 60s, 70s, and then 30s. Just how Utah does it. One extreme to the other. Heading into a great weekend. I'm super excited. It'd be awesome. Kids are having friends over tonight, wanting to hang out, be with our friends. Hazy has a costume party she's going to. Lots of good fun things going on. We're just gonna soak up this fall, the last few days before Halloween, and just let the kids have a great time. Came home from picking up my race package and there was a sweet treat on the porch for me. Brandon's mom, Anna Jo, brought me a little gift for tomorrow. Some little sweets and balloons for my race. There was another thing on the porch. We have some packages here that just showed up. I'm gonna unbox them all. We're doing the coolest thing ever and we're so excited. <laughs> It is a Friday. 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 Oh, yay is definitely happening. Yay. <laughs> You guys, kids are out of school. It is the weekend. And you guys, we we did a little something. We did a big something. We just did a something. We did a very exciting something. And here's the deal. We really wanted it to go down and happen today. But well, we were we at the mercy sure. of shipping, time frame, delivery, schedules, etc. And it just so worked out, you guys, that it came together absolutely perfectly. Smashingly. So let us tell you what we've got going on, what we've been doing, what we've been up to. We've been scheming a little bit over here in the Bingham household. Yes, we have. And I gotta say, this is a full team family effort. As you guys know, two older boys, Ryler and Chris made the school basketball team, and that's something so that we were exciting. so excited about. They have these really awesome team jerseys. Their entire uniform is red, white, and blue. So uh, cool. It looks amazing. But we thought, <laughs> you got the matching jersey, you got the matching shorts. Wouldn't it be cool if everybody had matching shoes? <laughs> so rather, yes! than, <laughs> rather than to suggest that everyone go out and buy the same pair of shoes so that they can have matching shoes on the team. What would the Binghams do? <laughs> we decided to go out and get the shoes for them. So we bought the entire team. And the coaches. And coaches, and team manager, the exact same pair of Nike. Nike LeBron shoes. <laughs> they are so cool. They're the Witness 7s. And so they are stunning. Gorgeous. The boys have talked together amongst themselves and decided on a shoe. They reached out to some friends. They were like, hey, what, what kind of shoe do you like? So here's how they schemed it. And it was just kind of brilliant because perfect. this is their very first time ever on a basketball team, on a school team. So they had a perfect excuse and reason to reach out to friends and say, hey, what shoe do you recommend? What do you think would be like the ideal basketball shoe? And then they would send them like a few options, like between this and this one. But little did their teammates know, they were picking out their own shoes. They didn't realize that they were choosing shoes for themselves. So the kids reported back, came together. I think you said it's the Witness 7. Yeah, so LeBron, the Witness, LeBron 7. Witness 7. And they had a host of colors. You had to find one color that has all of the sizes. We all need 26 sizes. pairs of shoes in a variety of sizes. Ranging from a size 6 to a size 14. Yeah, there's a size 14 in there. And this is a junior high team. But we had to do that. So we narrowed down some of the colors that way. Then further, we really wanted to match the uniforms. Look mm. really good and pop. They're so good. You guys, they're the perfect shoe. Their home jerseys are white. Their away jerseys are blue. There are red accents on both home and away. Well, guess what color the shoes are? Red. Just the most gorgeous. Gorgeous, glorious red you've ever oh seen. Oh my gosh, 
Actually, it's gonna look so sick when they take the court. Okay, right now, our front room is basically a Nike store. We opened a Nike store in our house. You know what? We're just thinking of a franchise we want to buy. We're like, let's just open a Nike store. But we're not gonna be very successful because we're just giving these shoes away. Not selling them, we're giving them away. But I want to walk you guys through the process of how this happened because Nike has been incredible. They're not sponsoring this, they're not like no, hooking us up. But the specific <laughs> the specific lady who we talked to on the phone was amazing. Her name is Sylvia. She's Sylvia my new bestie. You're a rock star. She was so excited to hear what we were doing, just enamored by the idea of getting an entire team a pair of shoes to match. It was amazing. Had the idea to call Nike to make this order because you can only order 10 pairs of shoes on the app. She's like, yeah, we'll usually do like a 5% discount. And I was like, five is better than hey, nothing. Hey, five something. The main reason we had to call in is because like mom said, we'd have to do separate orders. App or the website prevent you from ordering anything over 10 pairs of shoes. Yeah. They don't want people to buy them and then resell them. Wipe out their inventory trying to make a buck. And we were just trying to get shoes for all the kids on the team. So we needed 26 pairs of shoes. The only way to do that would have been three separate orders from three separate Nike accounts. And that got a little bit messy. Mom's just like, I'll just call Nike and see what they say. And I was like, how do you just call Nike? Like 1-800-NIKE. She found the number, called up. your mom. <laughs> <laughs> got Sylvia on the phone, who's not my mom. Sylvia and is amazing. And then I need six pairs of nine and a half. Six, nine and a half. Three, eleven and a half. We should have 20 now. Yep, okay. And then two 12s. Hold on, let me count really quick. I only have 26. And then a woman seven, which is a men's five and a half. Yes. She was incredible. She's working through the details. We're getting all the sizes. She's making sure she's got each one. She's adding it to the cart. She's bypassing the 10 limit rule. And she gets to the end. Mindy's expecting this 5% discount, which is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And she's like, hey, I can go ahead and give you 20% off because I think this is so cool what you're doing. I was like, like, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. That's like better than like outlet. That's like better than like anything imaginable on 26 pairs. That's a huge saving. So anyways, that was awesome. They were super stoked to make it happen. And then she expedite shipped them to us. So we got them one day later. Immediately, the very next day, like half the shoes arrived. So I open the door. I'm bringing them in the house. And I'm like, this is incredible. It's a ton of shoes, but it's definitely not all of them. So mom's checking the app, tracking the progress of the shipment. Nervous. It did not look like they were going to come today. In fact, as we woke up this morning, most of them, 11 of them, 11 almost days. half, they weren't going to make it basically. She even got an email that said, we apologize for the delay. Your shipment's been delayed. So we're like, well, got to do what you got to do. It's going to have to be next week because their next home game is not for a long time. They've got an away game on Monday. We really wanted the kids to have the shoes by this weekend so that they could get in them, break them in, make sure they fit, all those different things so they can show up on game day with matching shoes. Well, guess what? While we were in carpool, while I was picking up the kids, the remainder of the boxes Bing bong. arrived at the door, you guys, and they are here. Should we go show them what we got, what we're working yes. with? So you might be wondering, like, how do you put together 26 pairs of shoes somewhat secretively so that you can get the entire team shoes? We had some help from crew. And yes, Ryan. Brandon had emailed the coach and says, hey, this is what we want to do. Here's the shoe we're thinking. You know, we had kind of gotten his opinion on things. He's like, oh my gosh, I love this. So that very first day of practice, coach was handing out jerseys. Here's your shorts. Oh, by the way, go on over. Crew's going to take your shoe size. Crew and Ryler's parents are buying the entire team shoes. <laughs> and all of the kids went crazy. The way that the kids retold the story is they erupted and just started I doing know. this mosh pit They're up against so the kids. Grateful. Honestly, we've had individual gratitude texts and thank yous and phone calls from parents before they even arrived. Just at I the know. idea of doing it, we've had people pouring out gratitude. Yeah. So it's really cool to see it's how grateful awesome. they are. Because I was worried, I mean, I played basketball in high school and I was worried that some of these kids who are really, really into it are gonna be very particular like about the shoe they the wear. Pair I'd want. I don't want to wear a team shoe. I want to wear the shoe that I love and picked out and I worked really hard to get. I was like, I don't want to like step on anybody's toes, no pun intended, <laughs> and get them a shoe that they don't want to wear. So that's why I ran it by the coach. What do you think? What do you think of the shoe? And the kids ran it by it unanimously. Everybody seemed incredibly pumped at this idea. And so that's why went ahead and did it. But in order to make that happen, Duke Kruby took a piece of paper and scratched in everyone's name. Every single person's name and their shoe size. And their shoe size. And guys, look what mom's done. She's gone and put every single name on every box so that each one lines up to the size that they put down on this sheet. And so today, we're gonna go and surprise them because coach told them that they're gonna be getting shoes, but nobody yeah. thinks it's happening today, including our own kids. Yeah, we didn't tell the boys. We told Ryder it wasn't happening today because it didn't look like it was this morning. Also, because I'm just worried, what if a kid didn't know their correct size of shoe? Put a little piece of paper in there that says, hope you enjoy your new shoes. Contact Mindy Bingham if there needs to be a return or exchange and I'll take care Hopefully of all of Hopefully everyone's fit perfect. We'd love to have everybody rocking them that day one, but in case not, we probably would be able to do some kind of a return or exchange. Oh, um, I think so. And usually when you need to do something like that, if I were to tell them the situation, I bet they would expedite them for us. You guys, we're so they are. excited. 26 to pairs of shoes. We're going to go load them up the car right now. Practice is getting over in about 30 minutes. And so we want to get over yeah, there. Is. We want to be there just before practice ends. I'm hoping the coach is cool with us taking over like the last five, 10 minutes of practice to distribute these. Mom even went to the Nike outlet and got 
everybody their own Nike bag so they can have that true experience of picking up their brand new pair of Nikes and they would walk out, put it in a Nike bag, take it home. I think it's gonna be pretty it's awesome. It's gonna be so cool. What I'm even more excited for though is the very first game that they all have the shoes on. And you see them take the court and they've got their jerseys, their shorts, all the way down to the shoes and everybody is wearing these. I think it's gonna be a sight to behold. Makes me like kind of teary to do these kind of things. This is like the second or third time we've teared up just even thinking about it. Honestly, we've been so blessed and we just want to share. It's so cool for us to be able to do this it's for our kids. It's our day. favorite thing to do. And you know I love shoes. And Mindy loves <laughs> shoes, so if she can get 26 at one time, she's gonna do it. Last of them. <laughs> Don't drop. Santa sleighs not ready to take off. Boom. We've loaded up the back of the car here. It is filled to the top to such a sight. We're gonna take these over to the school. I think it'd be kind of cool to give them to them in the gym that way if they want to try them on. A lot of these kids take their shoe game pretty seriously. They walk in and out of practice and games with their shoes in a bag or in their hands and they wear something else to hit the pavement with. If they want to try them on in the gym, on a gym floor, that'd be nice to do. We thought about having them come out to the parking lot and just collecting them there. But I think ideally it's gonna work best is to bring them into the school. The only issue with that is this is a lot of boxes for me and mom to carry. Love to get as many in the door at the same time as we can so that their realization that the shoes are coming today hits at once instead of in small waves of two or four boxes at a time. So we might have Ryler and crew pop out, help us take some. We might employ the help of Stephanie, who's helped with those many, many things in the past, because mom and I can only carry so many of these. I load it up though. It's time to head over to the school. Time to surprise the team with their new matching team uniform shoes. Can't wait to see the reaction. Oh my we... gosh, you put freaking name tags on all of them. <laughs> so dude, oh, where's the bag? Take them all in. We have the bags. Have them take... come out here. Should we have them come I out here? Them... And then mom's gonna just like call their name and be like, alright, I got Yeah, we can all huddle around right here. Okay, I think that'd be sick. Okay. I think it'd be super sick. Hey boys! Got a little surprise for you guys. Just come with me. <laughs> your name. Hopefully we got the right size. Should I show them Wait, You guys want to see the shoe is? Yeah, Everybody yeah, know yeah, the shoe yeah, is? Yeah. This is the new team shoe. I think it goes with the uniform perfectly. Oh. These are... Oh, Drop has been made. Mindy, you know how they have the Nike drop? We just dropped them on the entire team. Yes, well, Nike that's what drop you do complete. With your own Nike stores. You do your when you own got your drops. own store and you're not charging for the shoes, you just drop you them just off. Drop them. Wait, that's are a we Nike drop. Do more drops? I think that's our only drop for this year. 
<laughs> but congrats to everybody who made the team. We're so excited to have our kids on the team. They're so excited to be able to do this for their teammates. They can build camaraderie among the team. Kids are all loving them. They immediately, so appreciative. they've got about five minutes where I have to clear out this gym because there's a game going on. They are taking that five minutes to put the shoes on and shoot some hoops in them. They're that excited. They've all told us thank you multiple times. So sweet. It's an incredible school. We love supporting our kids. We love supporting this school. This has been a treat for us to be able to do this for them. And it's so nice when they turn that with as much gratitude as they have. Bro, that's the shoes. Out with the old. In with the new. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Mom, that wasn't exhausting enough, calling an entire Nike store over to the kid's school. You're running a half marathon tomorrow. Did you remember that? Yeah. Put on your radar at all, because you no. had so many things going on. We've talked about this multiple times, but it's almost ironic that every week has like a big like anchor something, like it all kind of revolves around this whatever that thing is. And I feel like all of them kind of yeah. trumped your half marathon prep. I mean, you stayed on top of things. I feel like you're ready, but it's like, it just kind of snuck up, like no. doing it tomorrow morning. It's kind of funny. I think it's probably because I've done it before. This is your first one, way more psyched out. And probably. I wasn't like super concerned about getting a good time. Like, just like. You shouldn't finish. You shouldn't like do it. Don't care as much about this one. This one's just for fun. Straight up for fun. Yeah, tons of fun today. This was like something that makes us so happy to be able to give back and to share. So thanks for being here. Thanks for cheering on our boys. We're so excited for this next season. Tomorrow's race day. Come Monday. back and cheer mom on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheer me on too. Monday is another basketball game. We can't wait. Can't wait to see everybody wearing the new shoes. I know. You guys, we love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Who wants the new shoes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you bad, dude.